down into the physical realm, your higher self creates something called a soul contract. And these soul contracts are things that you want to learn, things that you want to experience while you are in the physical realm. There are three different contracts created, one with karmics, one with soulmates, and one with twin flames. But it is imperative that you know the difference. So I want you to pay attention in this video today. It's not going to be very long, but it has a lot of really good information. Because if you confuse a karmic with a soulmate, you might find yourself trying to push to keep it together, to fight to keep it together. When you slap that label on it, you're like, this is a soulmate, it's meant to be. Like, how can this not work? So you need to know the difference. So karmics are tied to contracts that you've made with yourself about maybe learning self-worth, maybe learning boundaries, learning how to stand up for yourself, uh, things like that. So a karmic's purpose is actually to come into your life. That's why you have that intense chemistry, that insane pull, but they are actually supposed to devalue you. They either devalue you or you end up devaluing yourself in hopes of triggering the realization within you, ultimately leading you to have self-worth, to value yourself, to maintain boundaries. And once you make the shift and you heal the dynamic within you, you have fulfilled the contract. And the karmic contracts are not able of remaining with us as long as you continue to expand. Okay, you guys, so that's why oftentimes, like I said, you know, if you make a breakup, make a breakup is because you're not learning a lesson. So the contract is not fulfilled. So you, your higher self, let's say, because that contract has not been fulfilled, will keep pulling them back in. Then they'll go out pulling them back in and, and you'll realize you'll experience the same thing over and over again. And you're like, you'll even say to yourself, I know girls that you guys do this. How did I not, how did I let that happen again? I can't believe that just happened again. You know, I know a lot of you guys have said that because I've said it, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's because you have not fulfilled that contract. You have not triggered the lessons that you came down here to learn to release the contract. So until you heal it within you, that contract will remain. And you may lose this karmic, but if you don't heal it, you'll attract another karmic. So this is why you are attracting the same guy. There's some type of soul contract that has not been fulfilled, but the minute it is fulfilled, you guys, it cannot remain in your realm. It's because when you choose to heal that dynamic that attracted you to that person, the two broken pieces that came together at the time that fit together perfectly no longer fit. And there is nothing for the other person to energetically latch onto. And that's why these karmics are usually released. However, you can fight to keep them in your life. I have been guilty of that thinking it's a soulmate. The problem with fighting to keep a karmic in your life is that they will keep you stuck. They will keep you stuck in the wound. Soulmates and twin flames are different. These are authentic authentic relationships built on authenticity. So they're very, very, very different. And soulmates and twin flames have the ability to stay with us throughout a lifetime. Karmics do not. They naturally just fade out. These karmics also trigger spiritual awakenings because as you start to peel back the layers, you start to expand outside of things that are no longer serving you. You start realizing how many relationships in your life are karmic. And this doesn't mean just lovers. This is friendships. This is family. This is jobs you realize how much of your surrounding is karmic and you really start to spend a lot of time alone and that's why spirituality can be so lonely because as you're shedding these layers and becoming uh, aware of the relationships that are no longer serving you you really do start to isolate but that isolation gives you time to work on yourself, to raise your vibration, to expand, and then you will start attracting in your soul tribe. Wow.